I knew he was an arrogant young man who had a lot of success. The Partridge family was, he produced that the first year and it was a big hit for Screen Gems. And everybody said, this is not John Epstein, you're gonna see a whole different kind of animal. This is a young Turk, you know, this is a young guy. This is, it's a whole other guy, and he was a whole other guy, you know. Uh, and I went in and he didn't know, you know, who I was. All he knew, knew that I was Danny Thomas's son and models dating Len Goldberg and now he's got me. And, it, it, and for the first six months, that was pretty much our relationship in a way. You know, he was like, we'll see what you got. Basically, that's what he said to me, we'll see what you got. And uh, I was quite confident in what I had. Because I, again, it's that whole process by the osmosis of the sands and, and the television shows. I mean, I was very comfortable on a sound stage. I was very comfortable in an editing room. I was just comfortable everywhere from the very beginning. And these decisions that had to be made, I had, had watched them being made my entire life. So it was, it was really, I'd been in training all my life for this job and didn't realize it. And so, you know, after about six months and he realized that I wasn't uh, going to be a thorn in his side, but actually an asset, we, he was never, you know, treated me badly, but we, we, didn't, we didn't have the camaraderie that, that John and I had immediately. Uh, but Paul was younger, you know, John was an older, older than me and kind of more of a father figure. And he was like, Paul was like a big brother who was like, you know, hey, you're in my room now, you know pick up your stuff, you know, that, a different kind of guy. Uh, but after about six months, we became buds and we were, you know, 30 years later. The first project we worked on was, uh, actually, we like to say Brian's song because it's much better to say Brian's song. Uh, and it kind of was. The material was in front of us prior to anything else we did, uh, Bill Blinn's outline, which was just stunning, just stunning. Uh, and, but the first thing that went to film was a six episodes of Bobby Joe and the Big Apple Good Time Band that, that Fred Silverman, I think it was Fred, uh, wanted to do about uh, a touring uh, group. You know, basically it was a Partridge family on the road, but, but a little, little hipper because they weren't family. They were just these kids. And, uh, and we did that. And that died, and we did, uh, actually, no, that was a pilot. The, the first episodes were the Bobby Sherman show. Uh, you know, you can tell the era we're in here. Uh, and uh, it was, you know, it was a piece of fluff, you know, to nobody's fault, but it was one of those kind of shows. It was, again, uh, a kind of a, in the, in the, uh, the Oak of uh, Partridge Family kind of a show like that. Uh, and that was up, fortunately, that was up against All in the Family, so nobody ever saw it. Uh, and like the second year of All in the Family or something, so it was blown off the air.